over the Auto Sleeper Nuevo on a 2020 on a Peugeot chassis. So we'll start by wandering around the driver, driver's side. So inside the cab, your height adjustment for your seat, your lumbar support and your back brake support, your handbrake, steering wheel controls, your sat nav head unit, your reverse camera screen, and your standard heating controls. Um, all your instruction books for everything inside the van and how it works and what to do with it. Your level indicator for your LPG. Your LPG filling point for filling from the petrol station. Your external TV points if you're on a site you can hook up to the external TV on a site. Your water infill with a pump that you can use from the dowser. Your boiler flu, don't get it covered. Your electric hookup point, your toilet cassette, simply push this lever up, pull it out, take it to the site and empty this bit here, put it back in, make sure it's locked into place. Down here your grey pipe is your waste water, and on this side your blue pipe is your fresh water, there your drains. Your reverse camera screen up the top, your habitation door entry, your fridge vents, the vent for your microwave. Your fresh water fill from an ordinary garden hose. Your external 240 volt socket. Your outside barbecue point. Your under seat locker so you can access this from inside or from outside. And up there is your wee hose for using if you want to fill from a bowser. And this is your stabilising jack if you want to put the legs down. It's got legs on it. Up the front here you have your diesel and your ad blue just behind the passenger door. If you want to access the bonnet. So just inside, on the side of the dashboard here, you have your blinds on your doors and on your windows. And as you enter inside the van, your button here puts your step out. To the right hand side you have your wash hand basin, your kitchen towel holder, your awning winder, two sockets. In your cooking area you have your electric ring and your three gas ring and your oven and grill down below. Your electric one will only work when you're hooked up to the mains. Two storage lockers up above your grill, eh, sorry not your grill, your, your vent. Inside your toilet you have your shower here, so you simply pull this forward and then close this door here and that's makes your shower room separate for you. Always make sure your door's secured when you're travelling, avoid any damage. Your clothesline up there comes from here and clips onto two hooks up here. Your toilet, so you've got your toilet flush there and you have your open and close of your toilet here. Your heating vent just inside the door and again a nice wee medicine cabinet there. Inside your wardrobe, you've got your hanging rail, you've got your table for the centre fitting there, you've got your carpets that will get put down before you come for them. A couple of lockers up here, your carbon monoxide detector, your over cab bed which pushes up to give you plenty of access to get in and outside the van. A light up there and then you have wee brackets up there for the netting which is underneath here which clips onto these clips here to save your rolling off. All your windows and uh, skylights have blackout blinds and fly screens. Your TV, you have two sockets there, USB slot up there. Some more lockers up here. Here multi-directional lights which you can take off and put on individual sides if you like your microwave, remote control for your TV, your crystal glasses your microwave plate in here your iNet box for using on the iNet system which is this up here this is your control panel so that turns your control panel on and then you can see your lights come on and then these are all wee touch lights, these ones same your ones in your bathroom this one here changes from leisure battery to vehicle battery, that's your settings you have your water pump here, so don't use your water pump if you don't have any water in it. 
this tells you your levels. You see you don't have any water in it. And this one here tells you your batteries and how your solar panel's doing. This one here for your heating and your hot water. So the wee picture of the camper van is your heating. We wee picture of the thermostat next to it is your hot water. And this is how you're going to power it, whether it's going to be gas or electric. And then you use a wee vent there for your, your heating. Down there you can set the timer. I can set the clock. And that one there is your settings. So come on here. Pick what temperature you want inside the van to be. Come along to the wee fan. Press the wee fan, go to vent. And go back to there, how you're going to power it, so electric, mixture or gas. So obviously if you're on a site you're going to use electric, if you're doing well camping you're going to use gas. And then your hot water is the exact same, so you've got off, eco 40 degrees, hot 60 and boost 70 degrees again. Pick how hot and then pick how you're going to heat it up. And you've got a wee light switch here for turning on the lights inside the cab as well. So if you've got any questions, you know where I am, just give me a wee call.